getting that workout in. I've been wanting to speak on this topic ever since I heard it, but I was unable to because I've been at work handling stuff, preparing myself for big things. And I also have another video in the making today. Today, I have to go somewhere else to do this video with another upcoming YouTuber, and she wants me to do a merge like a merge topic video with her so hopefully I get that video out for y'all later on today or tomorrow so let's get into the topic Alden Smith man Alden Smith I know two people want my opinion on this topic because all over the league all over the league and I hear more negativity than positivity, but I'm looking at it in a different way. And I seen Jack Del Rio tweet, and I agree with Jack Del Rio with what he said that it's wrong. It's wrong that when a player gets suspended, and they know what type of player Alden Smith is, and they know what type of person Alden Smith is. And I said. And I said it that way for a purpose. The lead know what type of player Alder Smith is. And they know what type of person Alder Smith is. But what the lead don't know is we all human. It don't matter what your title is. It don't matter how famous you is. We all go through something. Alden Smith is going through something mentally and spiritually. Alder Smith cannot do this alone. And it's wrong that the policy don't allow coaches and other players to reach out to people who are suspended or whatever. Bandit, what do you want to call it? To receive the help they need. The league should have reached out to Austin Smith gave him the help he need. Because he is battling something that he need help. It's deeper than just going to rehab and getting yourself together and trying to get back to the lead like it's hard like it ain't that easy it's, it's spiritually it's mentally emotionally like you need somebody can't nobody battle something spiritually alone nobody can battle something emotionally and mentally alone you need that help you need support you need love and that's what the lead don't understand that's why I don't like that commissioner that's why I don't like the commissioner. He need to be fired. Cause that's wrong. Like that that when you battle something like that, that's when depression and stress start messing with you. Like all the Smith not battling against something that's good. He battles against something that's evil. This is the devil and demons attacking all the Smith. Like this man need prayer counseling, healing, and guidance. That's where them coaches and players, the people who love him, gonna step in at and help him and motivate him to get on his feet and get where he need to be at in life. And you telling coaches and players, don't reach out to Alder Smith, you can't reach out to Alder Smith. That's messed up. That's messed up and wrong. So, to me, the league is wrong. The league, all this stuff ain't wrong. He wrong for what he did to the girl or whatever. But the league is wrong as well. They not right. Even though they policy say this and that. And people look at them a different way because they all rich, famous, and got fame, all of that crap. 
but they still wrong. The lead, the NFL still wrong. So, all the Smith, man. He, he he is a great football player, a good ass linebacker dog. But we should have been got him back. Like, come on now, one year suspension. You suspended the man in 2015. He should have been back in 2016. He would have had the help. He would have had the love. He would have had the support. He would have got back on his feet. But it's just for you, y'all. They rules set up. That's crazy. What? I would just kept my ass in the house, work dog, put out videos of me working out, showing that I'm serious, showing that I want to get back into the lead, go to rehab, don't smoke no more, don't do this, clean my system out, detox, get big, get thicker, get stronger, faster, show the lead, show the team that I'm serious about coming back. That's what he should have did, but he didn't have that support and motivation to do so. It's like all the Smith have anger, sadness built up inside of him, even though he don't show it. In his, even though he don't, sh even though he <clears throat> see it's something you don't see on the outside, but it's on the inside, and it's something. It's it's hard. It's hard to explain because people, you can't see what other people are going through spiritually because. And emotional because it's on the inside. You you just can't see it from the outside. Everybody going through something. That's why you gotta watch out who you talk to, who you talk about, and what you say. You gotta be careful what you say because you don't know what people what people are going through. Everybody going through a battle. Everybody need help. So do you think it's just like a little baby learning to walk? That little baby can't learn to walk. On his and her own, it's just it's just like that. A little baby can't learn how to walk. You need somebody to teach him, help him, help them how to walk. And that's what Alder Smith need. Help. He needed that help to where he need to be at as a person in a football player. He needed that extra help, but the lead didn't want to give it to him. So he went out here. Unfocused. He went out here unfocused and made mistakes. We all make mistakes. And I just believe all the Smith deserved. He deserved that help to where he come back to the lead and make an impact and help teams get where they need to be at. So that's my opinion, y'all. That's my opinion. That's my best opinion. I didn't speak down on them. I didn't bash them. I just think the lead wrong. And Arthur Smith just should have fell back. He seen that his relationship. He just should have fell back. He just should. But depression, stress set in. But that's what I believe. I just believe depression. People don't know about depression. Depression and stress set in, man. But that's just my opinion, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I just believe he deserved the help. That's why I think what what went wrong. He didn't have that extra help that he needed. But it's crazy, man. Domestic violence, man. These states, police officers, and other judges don't mess around with that. Uh, America don't mess around with that domestic violence stuff, and especially drugs. They don't mess around with that drugs and domestic violence. They don't mess around. They will lock your ass up for that shit. But all right, y'all, I'm off. Y'all, let me know what y'all think, man. Drop y'all opinions in the um, comment section down below. But the Oakland Raiders released Arnold Smith uh, two days ago, I believe. So y'all let me know how y'all feel, man. But we might go to the draft and get uh, Tremaine Edmonds. I think that's his name. I think that's his name. And the Oakland Raiders also looking at getting Tremaine. Is it Tremaine Johnson from um, the Rams? I know he wanted to come to uh, the Bay Area, but I'm going to get into them videos later. I ain't going to spoil it yet. I'm not going to spoil it just yet, but y'all see my Raider blanket over here, man. Raider Nation all day. Y'all see my Raider blanket over here. Y'all see it. Hold on. <laughs>
Y'all see it. Raider Nation all day, baby. Raider Nation all day. All right, y'all. I'm out. Peace. I'm in my trunk, probably just